All right guys, for today, we're gonna be doing some good old spirit hunting at the local cemetery. As you can see, I have the flashlight, the bag, the speaker, and this very low quality ghost hunting app I found on the Google Play Store. It's called Ghost Tube. You can see yourself through the phone here. And uh, I have no idea if this app is gonna work. I really don't think it is. It's probably just a load of fucking garbage. But uh, you know, I figured, why not? You know, it's a fucking Sunday afternoon, summer vacation. Might as well just give it a try and see if you find anything. So it's not completely dark yet out there. I want to wait a little bit later to uh, do the exploring because doing ghost hunting it has to be dark, obviously. It makes it more thrilling. So until then, I thought I would give you guys a little room toy of my room because uh, a lot has changed since the last time I did one. So without further ado, let's get this started here. All right, so starting at the entrance here, you have the good old Guns N' Roses poster hanging up here. Um, I don't remember if I shown this in uh, my last game tour video, but if I didn't, here's my cool, wicked Guns N' Roses poster here. Over here is Rock Bear looking all sad. It's actually a Bob Ross wig from a costume that's on his head. And he's wearing this flannel that I found in my closet. He's got some fucking scissors here. This is just a random bag sitting on top of the uh, Bob Ross color palette thing. So there's that. Let me put his fucking hair back on here. Over here is a footstool I made in woodshop class at school. Uh, as you can see, it's made from number two softwood pine. And uh, basically, all I really did was just cut it out with a jigsaw and uh, glued it all together and put screws in it and sanded it and uh yeah and i actually haven't tested it out yet so we're gonna do it right now hopefully it doesn't break yeah it seems to hold my weight pretty good and i'm just gonna hop off before it crumbles underneath my weight because uh i'll be pretty sad if it breaks now, over here is my desk so this is where i used to do some video editing before i took a long break from youtube but this is my chair, you got my computer here. I don't edit with this. I use my phone because this fucking computer's garbage. And my really cheap mouse. This guy, I got him from Seaside Heights. Forget, it was a long time ago. But he just sits up there. He actually got some pins through his arm that I stuck through there because he's, uh, he's a fucking pin holder. These are some Goodwill speakers, so not that great. Um, I think I actually blew them out. But uh, they work, you know, for what they are, and I use them sometimes. You have this, which is actually the box for my phone that's over there when it was brand new. This is a headphone box for my headset, which is sitting right there. Back there is an American Eagle I got from this field trip to a uh, museum. I think it was my eighth grade field trip, so that was actually pretty cool. I ended up going to uh, Dave & Buster's that same day as well. Over here is, what is this? The fuck the hell is this? Stanley? Okay, so I have no idea why this is here. I never used a Stanley in my life, but you know, it's good to know that that's sitting back there. Uh, this is my lamp. I found this on the side of the road and it works pretty good. Actually, there's a color changing bulb in there. This is the printer here. This is my fucking watch. My really sharp, I can open this craftsman knife, so pretty dope. This is my Generation 3 shirt that's hanging up here. That is my, me and my uncle's band. So we made our own t-shirts, which is pretty nice. I actually plan on going down to Florida again this year, or I should say this summer, and recording another rock album, so stay tuned for that. Over here is a bunch of uh, vinyl records. Um, I actually stole this from an abandoned place that me and my friends explored. Here's a picture of my Boombox City album, go listen to it. Spotify, Apple Music, all that shit. And this is a picture of me and my uncle's uh, Take Two album we did last summer. And that's pretty much it for over here. We got some wood burning I did, my logo. 
and that's a Kirby drawing. He's actually got a bong in his hand and he's high as a kite. So um, there's that. Over here is my newish TV. The tiny one I had before broke. So this was my dad's TV I took out of his room. These are my M Audio speakers that are plugged into the back of the TV. They're pretty loud. I use these besides the TV speakers because they sound better. Over here, you guys probably seen this already. I don't know, just a bunch of plushies. This is fucking Pikachu, he's got a hat on. This is my brand new Xbox. This is the Xbox Series S because this one that's now in the closet ended up breaking. I don't know what happened. I just wanted to turn on one day and the fucking screen loaded up to an air screen. And I use this thing and this thing's actually a lot cooler. The graphics are better and that's really fucking small. I mean, it's almost a size of my hand there, so. This is my Oculus. I don't use it much anymore. I might sell it. I don't really know. I don't really care. Over here, get my CDs. This is my uh, radio. I actually showcased this on my Austin Vlogs TV 2 YouTube channel. We got uh, Mr. Gopher holding up a couple of these Generation 3 Take 2 CDs. This one's open because it's the one that I'm keeping. But uh, yeah, you can see the set list on there in the back. And there's actually two more that are here. We got Pac Man Ghost, we got a Coca Cola bottle. That's a bottle I found in the Banana place. So that's pretty much it for this corner. This is my bed over here. It's a little bit fucking messy right now. It's the really ghetto looking cheap. There was any equipment. Uh, this is my wall of band logos that are taped to it because the uh, thing looks pretty cool, you know. Is that. This is the new rug I got on here because underneath the rug, the carpet's all fucking ripped up and shit. This is my fan. Um, keeps me cool, you know, during summer. And uh, that's what it does. It's falling apart. It's all taped up. I might get a new one. This is Henry, my cat. He's a little fucking piece of crap. Likes to attack me all the time, so there he is. I guess I'll show you the closet. This is the closet. This is the Xbox. This is the uh, box that uh, this thing came in. Hey. Shut up. Over here is my wood shop cabinet I made. This is the second project that uh, I constructed after the footstool over there. So you can see it opens up here. It's got some plexiglass, hinged door. It's got a latch down there, the latch up there, the backboard holds my deodorant and stuff. I would also be holding my wallet, knife, and watch that's over there. So we got some hooks, which holds my belts and uh, Pretty much like that, you know, I routed everything, routed the top, the side, glued everything. And that was the very first project I made even before the footstool. This thing right up here, this is my push stick. Pretty simple, I, I pretty much just fucking jigsawed it and sanded it, so, you know, there's that. And uh, that's it with this thing over here. All right, so that's pretty much it, my room floor. Um, I have a pretty small room. And uh, as you can see, it got darker, but, not as dark as I want it to be, so I'm gonna wait like 20 more minutes. And we're gonna head out to the cemetery and see if this fucking ghost hunter thing works. I don't think it's going on, it's probably just gonna be walking around the cemetery talking to the camera. And uh, it'll be interesting to see a ghost, that'd be pretty cool, but probably not. So I'll see you guys when it's time to head out and do some exploring. A few moments later. Might get some rain tonight, boys. Might get some rain. So I wanted to wait later in the night, but as you can see, we might be getting some thunderstorms. And I want to try and do this before a thunderstorm happens. So I'm walking to the cemetery right now, and I'll probably see you guys when I'm there. All right, well, we made it. Cemetery, just right over there. So make my way to the entrance or probably just gonna do a bit of walking around first before uh, we do any spirit box because I just want to get a feel for the area and just do you know a little walking around so I'm gonna pull up the flashlight and we're gonna do that all right so I got the flashlight out and I'm just kind of walking around I do have it on the dim setting cuz it's not that dark I really don't need it on the bright setting yet so, we're just gonna do a lot of walking around. I don't know how far I'm gonna walk, um, but you know, let's see what happens. There is an old well that's over here. I want to take a look at that. I don't know if you guys can see it up there. 
But there's a deer. Kind of just chilling. Who knows? Maybe one of the deer is a skinwalker. All right. As I'm walking to the well up here, I really hope I don't see someone walking the dog. Because it's always so awkward walking past somebody while recording. So I hope nobody's here besides me. As I'm walking, I'm not really feeling sketched out. One thing's for sure, it's fucking hot as balls out here. I do have my knife on me, so if I see something or something comes running up on me, well, I can fucking stab them. Right over there is the old well. I guess we'll take a look at it. I actually have no idea what this was used for, but let's give it a few pumps here. Don't you look at that. Still works pretty good. So I'm actually gonna walk back down that way because I don't feel really like walking all the way out there. Also, if you guys see anything that I don't see, let me know in the comments, please. Because uh, I might miss something. You never know. Oh, fuck. Oh, something just fucking bit me. Oh shit. We'll walk up that way a little bit and then we'll walk back down this way towards the exit. I'll get the spirit box set up and we're walking around. All right, we're cranking up the fucking brightness here because we gotta fucking start being on the lookout. There's some more deer over there. You can probably see them. No one will fucking blind them with the light, but they're over there. There's a bench up here, so take a look at that. See what's going on. Here's the bench coming up here. It's looking pretty fucking sad. <laughs> I mean, it looks like someone a little bit too big sat right there and bent the shit out of that wood. There was a fucking spirit. Okay, so I'm gonna walk back down to the entrance because there ain't nothing up here. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go and set up the spirit box and uh, we'll get that going on its way. Anyway, sorry for yapping a lot, but talking makes me feel less scared. I ain't gonna lie, I'm a little fucking uh, paranoid being at a cemetery all by myself. I keep feeling bugs crawling over me. There's a lot of bugs here. Fireflies, fucking beetles, mosquitoes. I like seeing the deer here though. It makes me feel comfort, you know, at least there's somebody here. Can I keep looking behind me? You never know. Oh! Oh my god, it's a baby deer. Oh, holy crap. Look, holy shit. That actually fucking scared me. I heard something move, dude. I thought something was there. I ain't gonna lie, back I was feeling like I was being watched. And I don't know why. I feel better now, but I don't know. It was a weird feeling. So I'm gonna turn the light off now because well, there's a fucking road up here. And I'm gonna pull up the ghost box. So I'll see you guys then. A few moments later. All right, I'm all set up here by the entrance of the cemetery. Cause I'm not trying to do this shit in the middle of the cemetery where it's fucking dark, especially where there's a lot of bugs. So we're just gonna do it up here cause we got some good lighting. I guess we're gonna have to turn the volume up. People are zooming by. Uh, what's well, working so are there any spirits here that would like to communicate with me it's coming i'm gonna turn this down this is really loud the bridal couple i have no idea what that said something about cow poop that I heard. stabbing stabbing cow poop and stabbing so that's a weird combination. Is there someone who wants to sit next to Bounty. me and talk for a little bit? <coughs> Fuck me, bro. That's the hill to net. I ain't gonna lie, I had no idea what this fucking yeah. thing is saying. 
I can't really make out anything at all. So there's a spirit yeah. here. Could you uh, tell us your name? <laughs> that was like a whole different language. I was like, I was like fucking Hindu. Oh, we got a UK person. I'm gonna call this app poor scrap. I don't, I can't even make out anything that it's fucking saying. So, I'm just gonna stop this here. I don't know how. Oh, Yeah, it's it's saying fucking gibberish. So, I'm gonna turn it off and I'm just gonna head back to the house, and I'll I'll just see you guys there. Thank you guys uh, for watching this video. Uh, if you can't tell, it's the next day. I forgot to film an outro, so I'm doing one now. I really wasn't expecting that app to work. It, it's just a free little fun gimmick app that you can use and just fuck around with with your friends and everyone. So I really wasn't expecting much. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I uh, apologize for the very long break that I took. And I hope to be, you know, making uh, some more YouTube videos and stuff like that. So, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video later.